seems like uh, avian flu is uh, coming back. The last time we had a, a major outbreak in the United States was 2015. Um, that outbreak uh, was centered a lot on the egg industry and we had to eliminate almost 50 million birds in that last outbreak. Uh, this time around it seems like it started in the northeastern part of the United States. Um, birds kind of come through in flyways we call them. We have a, both coasts and then two in the central. Uh, and right now it hit the east coast and now it starts, looks like it's hitting the other central flyway. And so we've had some small flocks in the New England area that have tested positive. Um, we've also had some commercial flocks in North Carolina that have tested positive and now it seems like Indiana through Kentucky in both broilers and, and turkeys. Avian influenza is certainly reportable. Um, the thing that we're most concerned with uh, are in, around in this area is a lot of our small flocks, a lot of our game bird flocks. Uh, we, want any re we want anything reported that seems to be unusual number of birds dying. Uh, now's a great time to put our biosecurity plans in place and that means staying away from other flocks. That means going, uh, not doing a lot of trading. That means keeping your feet clean uh, when you go into facilities. All the usual biosecurity measures that we had in place. Backyard poultry. Uh, the one advice I have for people is uh, be careful with swaps. That means going, uh, not doing a lot of trading. That's where disease comes in and out with all these swaps. And unfortunately, this is spring when we want to do a lot of that. Getting new chicks, not as much of a risk because they're coming from hatcheries where they're already locked down. They're looking for this. So that should be pretty safe. Another thing I give people, uh, tell people to do at home is watch the waterfowl. It's coming through. So far, a lot of the testing has shown mallard ducks in particularly, some other wild birds. They visit your facilities. They come into your ponds. If you have waterfowl in your pond that stay around full time and then you have visiting waterfowl, that's the highest amount of risk you can take. Don't go out and walk around a farm pond that's got geese and ducks all around it and then walk back into your facilities. Don't ever do that. That's just a kind of a general practice you should always practice. Uh, be, be aware of wild birds. Keep feed uh, that's been spilled. Keep that cleaned up. Maybe even only limit the amount of time that you allow your small flock to be fed so you're not attracting wild birds. This time of year, you know, wild birds are looking for food. And uh, these migratory birds uh, going north and south right now, uh, they're bringing it in, they're dropping it off to local birds. And so it's prudent. I mean, it's a, it's a big industry here in the United States. Uh, Kansas grows a heck of a lot of grain that goes into that industry. And, and uh, we want to be sure that, uh, you know, that uh, that industry is protected.